so here we are. We're gonna do a product demonstration of uh, insulation and its R value and why it's different, even though they may have the same R value, R13, R21, whatever they may be, it's not a reasonable uh, comparison because R value that's given to each one of these forms of insulation, even though the R value is the same, you're gonna see what they do. So this is a product demonstration we have blown in, spray foam, this is closed cell, doesn't matter if it's closed or open, this is closed up, and then this is traditional bat insulation. Okay, so we're gonna turn this on, there's a fan in here, you can see it right down there, and that fan is going to push air into the box, and each one allows air to flow through it or attempt to. So you're gonna see what the R value, or what the resistance, the true resistance is, a foam compared to other forms of insulation. So here we go. Get ready. You're gonna see these ping pong balls. Look at that. All right, so the blown in insulation, air is flowing through enough to float this ball. Spray foam, zero. That insulation, flowing through as well. Watch, so you can put your hand on it. The blown in settles back down. So you can see that much air is flowing through. Lack of resistance, even though the R values are the same, that much lack of resistance. So if we had these thermometers in, you would see the temperature, thermal transfer is the same. So fascinating little experiment, uh, demonstration. Hopefully that uh, kind of gives you a good bead on how foam is different and why it's better. And uh, yeah, so contact us we're in the montgomery office uh, i'm richard davis but any iphone franchisers 52 and growing nationwide so hope you enjoyed this thanks